Okay, I'm going to have a go um, at showing you how to make some props for your animated films. We'll do some backgrounds and I'm going to give you some ideas of things that you could use as characters in your little film. Uh, but first I'd like us to have a go at making one of these little flip books. Maybe you've seen this before and I'm going to show you how to put the book together and then you can have a go at making your own. So I've got A3 paper here. Uh, A4 would do just as well. So you're more likely to have A4. So I'm going to use A4. Okay, fold in half. You can cut it with scissors or you can tear it down the fold. Got A5 now, fold A5 in half. And tear down the fold. A6 in half. And we've got A7. And I'm going to fold A7 in half to make a little A8 book. Like that. It's got about eight pages in it. And because it's so small, you can staple it with an ordinary stapler. So if you put it right on the spine, it must be very, very accurate. On the spine, one, two. And then the book will fold nicely. Now the problem with this little homemade book is we can't get these edges as sharp as you can with a book that's produced in a factory. So we're just going to make the best of it. it, it you can flip it, but it's, as you can see, the pages tend to clump together. If you wanted to, you could have a go at cutting with scissors, try and improve it a little bit. That can be quite tricky to do too. So here's the front of my book. I'm going to go to the back. And we're going to start with a balloon down here. corner. If I turn the page, I can actually see the one before through the paper. So I draw another one slightly above it. Okay, turn the page again. Make sure it's the right one. And you can see them through each other's pages. Another one here. You can see it through the page, so I'm going to do another one here. Getting over the halfway fold is quite tricky. That's why it's important that you put the staple right in the middle. So this is going to appear as if the balloon is rising up. You can colour it if you want to. have a look. You can see it a little bit. But it, it is quite difficult with homemade books because the edges are never completely flush with each other. So um, I will show you my little, little man with a hat. And I've got another ball here with some colours on it and I'll show you those clips so you can have a look. This is a flick book. Little figure running and the hat comes off. Now I've added some colour. If you colour it in a certain kind of way, it makes the it look like the ball is turning round as well. Okay, I've uh, got a little book here which has been made in a factory and the edges are cut really, really straight and accurately. It's a bit of a problem with the homemade book because it's hard to make it flip. So I've put the ball design on here and if we try and flick this, you can see it a little slightly better. I put a bit of colour in it as well. So I'm going to have to practice a wee bit at doing this. Uh, this book is a little bit large perhaps. But maybe you can experiment with it and then when you get really good at it, you can think lots of designs. Okay, we're going to make some backgrounds for our stop frame animation. 
The background has to fill the screen as it appears through your uh, stop motion film. Uh, so I've got here, I'm going to do an underwater scene, so I've got some blue here. Uh, the A3 is not quite big enough, so I'm going to stick these together with some sellotape. So I've got my uh, phone set up on the table where I'm going to take my pictures, and I've stuck the blue paper together on the floor in the right position. It's still a little bit small for the frame, so I'm going to use the floor background as a kind of a frame for the film. So I want to show you now how you can de quickly decorate the blue to make it a bit more sea-like. I don't want the background to move about on the floor. So I've got my masking tape again. I'm going to take off a small strip. You can tear this. And I'm going to bend it back on itself so that it's like a, a double-sided sticky. And then I can stick that on the back of the blue paper to hold it firm on the ground. So I have used uh, my various tones of blue Sharpies, uh, which is here, and I've made some ripply effects with the different colours and some sort of bubbly effects as well. So it's all blending into the blue background. Uh, you could use some green if you wanted or experiment with yellow. Uh, I've got here a pen which is quite interesting. It's a, a, like a white pen that works on blackboards and people use them for making notices outside shops. So this works um, by a, a very intense white and it's got a bullet point and when you press down on it, it makes the ink flow. So if I press down for a few moments and you'll see I've got a little bit there. So you can actually use it on coloured paper, even black, and it shows up as white. It's quite an intense pen. You would have to go to, probably to a specialist shop for this, uh, and it, it, is a, it is a little bit expensive. So you would have to decide whether you thought it was worth getting or not. Uh, you can use it for this activity, and obviously you could use it for other activities as well. And the pen actually lasts quite a long time. So if you are building up a little uh, reserve of resources for yourself, this might be a good thing to think about because this would be quite useful for various things. When it begins to sort of run out a little bit, you just press down and it releases the ink so you can draw with it. Okay, so my background is ready and I've also cut myself out some fish. Uh, these were cut out of old crisp bags, old coffee bag, and this is some kind of sweet wrapper or something like that. So I've got my little fish cut out and I'm ready to start my animation and to make my little film. Okay, so my first fish is coming in here and I'm taking my, I'll take four photographs at first. It's going to move in. And there's another one coming on here. Little tiny movements. So it makes them look like they're swimming. Another one coming on here, a little shoal coming into the sea. Okay, I'm going to stop there and uh, I'll have a look on my phone to see what the film looks like and I can edit it. Uh, if you look under Stop Brain Animation section, you can see uh, how to look on the phone and edit your work. Okay, I have found a little bag of stones here. 
came from. I'm not sure where they came from, but you can put them on your backgrounds as well. You can use 3D objects on your background, which looks quite interesting. I've got some pine cones here, which you could decorate, make little pine cone fish. Or if you had a green background or a foresty background, you could make these into little trees. So really it's your imagination, whatever you've got at home, you can turn into something really interesting. Okay, we've got a plain background here and just some twigs from the woods or from the park or from your garden. And I have found here some little toys that you could use. These are little Sylvanian family squirrels and you can make them as little characters in your play. Make up a little dialogue with them. See what you can do. You could uh, do something really simple. Here's two pieces of ribbon, some little faces on if you wanted, and you could make up a little dialogue, make them move about and do things, turn around, get tied in a knot, tie the knot, whatever, whatever. You could use your gold pieces again, your gold stones, turn them into characters as well, make them do and say things. So you can use anything really that comes to your hand. Uh, if you've got any little toys, little um, Duplo figures, plain weave figures, any of those things at all would, would work really well. So here we've got some little toys, little characters, and we've got a little dog here, and you could easily make up a story about that. You can use your tissue boxes to make houses out of, uh, blocks of flats, whatever you fancy. Uh, you can also use games that you have. So one of my favourite games is, is this here. It's called Bananagrams. And basically it's full of letters. So you could animate the letters, which would be quite a big challenge, and turn them into words. So... Okay, it's a really fun game as well to play. use your bits of junk that you've saved up from food that you may have bought in the supermarket, turn them into little houses, little hats, make a little person with little hats on that. I happen to have, it's quite unusual, it's a polystyrene ball and you could make a little face on it and put hats on it, find a way of making it stand up. Maybe you could make it roll around, a rolly kind of character. Just. Have a go at thinking about all the different things that you could do with what you actually have. I'm going to leave you with a little viewing of the Golden Fish film. I managed to download it onto my iPad and I actually managed to crop off the background in photos and, and you can easily do that yourself. So I'm going to now export it into iMovie and put it on the end of the film for you to see. I haven't put any soundtrack on it, uh, we'll leave that for another day. So I hope you've had a good time today, have had lots of fun playing with toys, making films with your toys, and uh, I'll see you another day. Thank you. Bye.